biodiversity is really how we define our own existence, isn't it? It's us and, say, tens of millions of other species that occupy this planet with us. It's like there's this incredible web where we're all connected. And when you start to lose these linchpin species, the environment starts to fail. When we translate human activity into these forces of extinction, there are several major factors that are contributing. One of the major drivers of extinction is that we hunt some species to oblivion. It's what we're doing with sharks now. With the explosion of demand for shark fin soup, global estimates for the shark fin trade put it in the neighborhood of a billion dollars. It's a huge amount of money. So sharks are targeted by fleets around the world. They may simply cut the fins off and then release them to a slow and very unpleasant death. You, you keep all the sharks or put the bodies back? Done. Cut the fin and then close. We don't actually know how many sharks are in the ocean. What we do know is that the big sharks, the apex predator in the open ocean food chain, their numbers have declined between 90 and 99 percent. Sharks have survived four mass extinction events. They've been around the planet longer than dinosaurs, a lot longer. Sharks have ruled our oceans for over 400 million years. They've been responsible for regulating and maintaining the entire balance across our oceans. Now we're in a situation where sharks are being removed from that system. Humans are really the single most impactful species this planet has ever seen. We have these prehistoric brains and we have this godlike technology. And when you bring them together, the result is not necessarily a, a happy one. You know, species are like a house of cards. You can't just sort of take one card out of the deck and not expect the deck to crumble. 